This might be one of the happiest days of my life. My first day here in Hyderabad and as soon as I woke up, I knew there was only one thing I want for breakfast right there, the famous Hyderabad biryani. I know I had a lot of biryanis on this trip so far, but come on, it's like one of the greatest dishes ever. And Hyderabad biryani is known to be one of the best in the entire country. And this place right behind me, Paradise, supposedly makes one of the best versions of this dish in the city. So it's sort of like the best of the best, which was a great movie, by the way. All right, let's get this food day started. And I came here first today because this place actually sells out. And what I'm getting are these uh, little chicken kebab thingies here, little drumsticks. After I had the really good drumsticks in Chinatown, couldn't really get it out of my mind. And the biryani I'm going for is the special supreme mutton biryani. And this thing, it says a magnificent extra large portion of the world's favorite biryani. Great for sharing or Great for just me. And supposedly the way biryani is made in this city is really different than other places because they don't sear the meat and rice beforehand. They just put the raw meat in and cover it with rice. And there's also supposed to be a lot more spices in this biryani as well. My first meal of the day, cannot wait for this. Oh my God. Oh, oh it is here. Happy day. Yo, this is like so, so exciting for me because it's like looking at a treasure site. You got fried garlic on top, some cilantro, just the most fragrant of rices. The treasure is really deep down inside where the beautiful, delicate, succulent mutton is buried. God, I'm excited. But before I get to this, I gotta get to the kebab. You know, you, you gotta save the main event for last. The kebabs also look really, really good nice and charred. Look at this, covered in spices and herbs. Oh, that is juicy chicken. You guys see that? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my God. That, that chicken, I'm so sorry. Let me, hang on a second. I, I just wanna apologize to you guys because yeah, I mean, look, it's just such a beautiful dish right here that I, that I really neglected you. Like, I thought you were just gonna be okay tasting. I didn't know you were gonna be so magnificent. This chicken is one of the greatest pieces of chicken I have ever had. It's ridiculously tender and juicy. The spice, oh my God. The masala they use on this chicken, it's borderline transformative. I feel like I'm being teleported to a land of spice where chickens just, just ran around all through it and lived their whole life and then was cooked and turned into this. Every single morsel. Mm. Chut, yeah. This is already really good. And you dip in that, the taste becomes more better. Really? Yeah. More? Anger the manager. I was just saying how delicious this is, and you're saying dip it in the chutney, it becomes better? better? I don't even know how this can even become better, but I mean, how does perfection become better? But, but I'm gonna try it and see. Try and see. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh. Dip the chicken in the chutney. Wow. Oh, he's right. With some of that chutney, it gives it an even more flavorful pop, and there's yogurt in there. So there's an element of creaminess as well. And then the line just, just brings this hint, this dash of beautiful, refreshing citrus flavor. Oh my. I would come to India just for this chicken alone. Mm. That is the greatest thing. Greatest chicken I've had, I think, in my life. The appetizer was surprisingly mind blowing. Now let's dig into the main course. Look how fluffy this rice is. You guys see that? It's, it's touching the rice and the masa- Ah, oh no. Oh, I dropped like a, like, like six grains. If there wasn't people around, I'd be eating off the floor right now. Hey, check this out. Let me show you what deliciousness raining down looks like. I would say we were good together. I would say we have fun. 
I didn't even notice this, but check it out. This biryani actually has three layers. The top is rice, then in the middle is the masala. That's basically the essence of a biryani. Then at the bottom, look at this layer, heavily mutton. Wow. And you can actually adjust it to be like spicy or less spicy. This is really like a food archaeological dig, and the greatest stuff is on the bottom. Here we go. Let the dig continue. So after the top layer, you get to you get to the masala. We're still digging. Still in layer two. Still not at the bottom yet. Still layer two. Guys, we have struck mutton. Take a look. Look at this. I see it. I see it. I'm gonna excavate it. There it is. I, I really do feel like an archaeologist. I'm dusting off the rice. Oh my goodness. Here, let me show you what I what I just saw. Look at that. Oh, fattiness, richness of the meat is on full display. In the first bite, I just want some rice. That's all I want. I feel like every single second I was chewing, the flavor profile changes. At first, I taste something citrusy. Then the fragrance of the rice. After that, I was hit by the spices and then the subtle mutton flavor that's already ingrained into the rice itself. Now let's taste the real treasure. That mutton will provide me with sweet longing dreams for the rest of my life. Again, the flavor of the mutton seemed to change as I chew as well. At first, you just get a taste of the succulent meat, which literally melts in your mouth. And then just a combination of spices and heat that really just transports you to somewhere beautiful. And then when everything is over, your taste buds is just crying out, begging for more of that stuff. And I was told to add some of this gravy. Mix it around. Mm. Mm. That gravy does a lot to emphasize the spices. But I do want to add a little crunch to everything and maybe a little chutney to it. I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but I love this chutney. Mm. I love the crunchiness and the slight sweetness the onion provides. I think that's a great addition to the biryani. This has been an incredible start to my food day so far. And I'm not gonna forget about the chicken because even though I'm eating the biryani, it's so delicious, I'm still thinking about this chicken. Uh, literally, one of the best chicken I've ever had in my life. This is one of the happiest biryani days of my life. So after the biryani, Unger insisted I get this dessert. What's it called? Kurbani. It's ice cream with, with this delightful apricot syrup. And you said it's only for marriages. Mostly you find it in marriages in India. Well, I felt like I just married that chicken today, so. Wow. Listen to this man. You can't go wrong. That's a great recommendation. Well, this is delicious. This apricot is amazing. There's some spices in here. It's just like every other Indian dessert I've had. It's really sweet. But this one I really like. Super sweet, but at the same time, delicious and refined. Just like a good marriage. All right, let me finish this. And we're gonna go get more food. Hey guys, for my second place today, I am at Hotel Shadab and this place also supposedly has one of the best biryanis in the city. And as I always say, one good birani deserves another, right? So this one is, is, is not as big. Again, just overflowing the plate. I mean, can I, I'm gonna actually put this in my big plate because I don't wanna waste any, uh, any single grain of rice. That's pretty, it fits. Right away, it's almost like a half and half kind of thing. The white, plain, fluffy rice is on one side, and the rice with all the masala is on the other. I got the chicken this time because I got the mutton last time. Now I'm thinking there's gonna be a treasure waiting for me inside. So once again, let's go digging. We have struck chicken. Oh, look at this. I'm parting the biryani. Oh, this is a whole chicken leg in here that's buried underneath this impressive, fragrant bed of rice. Look at this. That's purity. Wow. That's all that's needed to break apart this chicken. A little spoon, not even exerting much effort. This chicken is just coming off the bones. That's a tender chicken. I just need to try the rice first. First, the plain rice. 
Given this rice on this side, it's just immensely fragrant. I feel like I'm eating the first light snow of winter, except for the snow are grains of rice. And the seasoned rice with the masala. Yeah, let me let me make the perfect rice ball here. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Wow, so much spice in here. This rice is, is zestier um, than what I've had in Mumbai. Actually, it's even zestier than Paradise Biryani. And the rice here that's different than a Paradise rice is that the rice is actually really moist. And I think this is like maybe juice from the chicken. Mm. And let's put a little of the yogurt sauce on the rice. Squeeze just a little bit of the lime. Mix it up a little bit. There's a little bit of fermentedness to that sauce. And I think which really does a lot to highlight the fragrance of the rice and the spices itself. Now, I cannot wait to get the bite, bite of this chicken. You see how that's just covered in spices? Oh, wow, that chicken's nice. Let me just take another bite with some of the meat I just pulled off here. Wow, chicken is so incredibly flavorful and tender. It doesn't have as much of a, as a roasted flavor as the previous appetizer I had at Paradise, but this chicken definitely fits with the biryani. And when you take a bite, you can tell they belong together. I love how this biryani also, as you dig deep, you guys see how like juicy, glistening the rice is? I think that's all because the chicken, the chicken juice is kind of like falling into the rice. That's some of the most flavorful rice this side of Asia. Something else I got here is uh, it's a chicken gorani. And this is a really popular dish that they recommended to me. I'm not gonna say no to that. And they give it to me with a side of butter naan. That's a lot of butter on that naan. It's almost like I want some naan with my butter, please. And this is what they gave me. Look at that. Soup, just like a net. Actually, I, I kind of failed there. I didn't get a single piece of chicken. There, there'll be next time. That's a good recommend. I don't know if you, can, if you guys can see, I feel like this curry has got like 10,000 types of spices in here. And it is like flaming hot. Let me get some get some chicken onto my naan here. Oh man. Woo. Mm. This is awesome. The naan, first of all, nice and crispy. I love the cashews they put in here. Slightly crunchy, a little fatty flavor from the nut. The chicken itself. They definitely roasted the chicken before they put it in here. That chicken has got some great smoky flavor. Ooh, this is really spicy. They should just call this Mike Spicy Curry. Ooh. You should get this if you ever come here. And one last thing I gotta get here. I know, another biryani. Am I crazy? Am I? Am I really? Am I crazy to get another delicious plate of biryani on one of my last days here in India that I know I'm gonna miss as soon as I get on the plane? If you call that crazy, then yes, lock me up because I'm guilty. This is a little something a little different. This is actually a prawn biryani. I'm pretty familiar with this procedure by now. I feel like I am now the world-renowned authority on how to dig up meat in a biryani. Look at this. Look at this. This prawn looks like it's been sitting in an active volcano for a number of years. This, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of mix it with everything and just take a good old bite. Don't knock the prawn biryani before you try it. Because the prawn is just beautifully seasoned, wonderfully tender. I really like the masala they put on the prawn. Wow, I don't know. I kind of like this almost more than the chicken. You know, having biryani in this country was really, really a mind-blowing cultural experience because I've only had this in the States and it really tastes nothing. Like this is the, the fragrant flavor bomb of rice and meat that it is here. And having some of the best biryani in some of the best places and in a city that is really known throughout India for having great biryani, it's just an experience that will remain with me pretty much for the rest of my life. And of course, I wanted to try this place as well before I leave because a lot of people recommended Paradise and they recommended here, so I had to do them both. And what's kind of funny is that as much as I love the biryani in both places, but man, that roast chicken at Paradise, that thing's won my heart in a special way. But anyway, if you guys are ever in Hyderabad, definitely try these places out. And honestly, I can't really tell which place is better. I, I feel like the biryani here is zestier, is more, the rice is more moist. I think if I had to choose, I think the biryani here is better. But again, 
love the roast chicken at Paradise. It's one of the all-time best chickens I've ever had. And guys, of course, both locations are listed for you in my description box. If you are ever here, try them out. Let me know which one you like more. And yeah, let me know if you fell in love with that chicken as well. Also, I just want to note in this video, um, every time I, I, I publish a video, a lot of you guys message me, which I really appreciate uh, asking to hang out or asking to give me recommendations for the places I am at. Because of the editing process for these videos, I can't really edit the videos while I'm on the trip, so I have to wait till I get back, and then usually there's videos uh, waiting to be launched before that. So when you see these videos, uh, typically I'm no longer in the location I am right now. So if you wanna know where I am currently, definitely follow my Instagram accounts, which is listed for you in my description box as well. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and until we eat again, I'll see you later.